So we are back from our little mini break for more PSO. Draco Cougar asking, can my level 90 join? Sure. Willing to play with some new people. I think Frosty wanted in. I think Promethean wanted some runs. Chris needs some time to kind of wake up. So we're going to hunt one of the requested items. I'm going to note this under Frosty real quick for the future reference. For Swordsman lore. So there's a few quests that you could do for it, either in Episode 1 or Episode 4. Currently, it's not a Christmas fiasco, which would normally be a pretty easy way to pick that up in Episode 4. So what we're going to do is try a couple of basic quests in Episode 1 and see how we feel about them. There is the classic Endless Nightmare 4, which is used in many, 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 many different hunts. So we should probably learn this one as a group at some point. Technically, we can also do uh, very quick resets elsewhere, but this is usually the one that I do. Alternatively, there's fragments of a memory. Chat probably remembers that quest. Let's go ahead and host an ultimate. We may need to play some Etrian Odyssey. It is a very solid game. Uh, they just released... Uh, I want to call them remakes. But the ability to play the originally DS or dual screen games on Steam, you can play as most of them now. Okay, one of these, two of these. Okay, one of these. I put my super sniper back. I did, and I can't use it yet. So, what I'm gonna do... There it is. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna be bringing in pretty much nothing but support items. So I should be able to wield it with max accuracy in the Vita can. If you'd like to hop in Draco Cougar, we are in Fodra Block 2. If there's anybody else that wants to hop in, I think Frosty wanted to hop in. Yep. I should probably purchase some healing items. Yeah, Etrian's really nice. We did a playthrough of it a while back. I like the combination of the, you know, you move, they move combo on the overworld. Mixed with a pretty nice boss design. Although admittedly, I usually play what's considered the story mode, so you have the pre-made characters. But a big appeal is potentially playing as the... I want to say there's 10 or 12 classes in most games. And kind of doing a create-your-own-party. I should probably get a shield of some sort. Password is king, lowercase. Uh, no items in there, that's what I thought. on Reborn and Merge for now. I just want some defense. Prometheus says I feel ignored. Oof. Sorry, Promethean. See, it used to be at the bottom of the list and I forgot I can't do that anymore. <laughs> There's so many custom quests that have happened since then. So yeah, this quest is pretty good for hunting uh, early Belras. So for example, if your character is looking for uh, Heavenly Arms, normally you run this quest early. This quest used to be run a lot more when there was a uh, higher level Anguish mode. So this room is pretty infamous for having the Bazillions of Claws. If 
you head to the left, you'll get uh, the next room of enemies. I'm just going to open some boxes. Like, this is probably one of the few quests I actually know fairly well. Like, I could take you at least to the second floor without uh, detouring at all. I'll still take some detours just to show it off. Launch full. Ghosty says, I truly appreciate how informative you are about the game. Keep it up. Thank you. So this room is mostly just claws. So originally, people used to play on high-level anguish to purposely give them, like, 20,000 health. But since claws, by default, uh, drop weapons instead of, like, standard items, people were trying to use it to farm uh, things like high-hit arms and calibers while still opening those boxes. Because if you might remember from anguish difficulty, it would boost the... basically the zone it qualified for. Actually, I'm not really liking this damage. I'm going to batch a rapi. So you would just literally do what I'm doing here over and over and just spam Razans until you win. Since the enemies can't really get out of it. Okay, I'm going to do a little show web here so we can see what people are picking up. So essentially in the back of the room is just a switch in order to get items. Uh, if you go to the right, it'll be the waterfall room. I'll pop the boxes. If I don't see anything, I'm not going to bother. Yeah, I don't see anything, so I'm not going to bother. If you want to open them, you have to go in the back room. Otherwise, there's going to be, I think, a sorcerer ambushing immediately. So I'll need somebody to actually deal with this. I was going to say, I want none of the sorcerer. There's also a secret path behind the waterfall for those that are curious. It could just be some basic items. If I want to open all the laser gates for the team, for example, I would just hit this. So they would basically put down one laser barrier from the prior room that we avoided and come here to open the rest. But anyway, unfortunately at the far end of the screen is going to be an Indie Belra, which is not going to be our friend. Spoilers. Oh, I'm going to slowly get in position for it. It's going to appear near the red door once we're done with this wave. I don't think there's anything between us and it. Remember, it would just kind of shoot stuff at me and be annoying in this room. Speaking of which... <laughs> right, chat? Some things never change. Oh, you know what I need to do? There we go. That should be better for the future. So essentially, we're going to come up to a passageway where I think we could make a left or a straight. I think from the perspective of items, I will continue to go straight. We're going to get ambushed, I believe, by Del Sabers in here. Fortunately, enemy spawns are nothing too crazy. If you're playing single player, it's really not the end of the world. I could just choose to do this, for example, and freeze them or zap them. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Goodbye, Indie Bora. Yeah, since we're playing as kind of lower level forces, I'm going to play it a bit more safe than I normally do. Little mini steps in between past the dodge attacks. You'd be surprised how little you have to move to dodge attacks, because enemies like to do it at pretty much point blank range. So I'm looking for a room that eventually is going to be kind of like a, a skinny hallway hooked into like a longer room. This is not it. I believe we can open the... I don't have trap vision to see which one is which. If we open the door to the right, it's just more items. If we go left, that's the main path. One of these blows up, I think. There we go. <laughs> Chap blew up the traps. If you want to see what the items are, they're just up here. There's like a little mini combat if we go up here. I think for Del Sabers, there's nothing of interest, but if we're just looking to clear and show stuff off, I'm going to walk to where the uh, light switch is. So essentially, when I go to open the treasures, I believe it'll spawn another wave. So it'll seem like mostly tame, and then it'll be like, surprise! What you get for trying to check items full? 
But this could be useful for people that are looking to do things. Yeah, see how I spawn them by popping the boxes? <laughs> What I'm gonna do, gonna bother me, I'm gonna do the inverse. So essentially, we're gonna come to that skinny hallway connected to a much larger open room. There's two floating traps in the sky. You can actually see them if you look up towards the ceiling. Uh, if you go that way towards the big open platform, that'll be where progress is. Oh, I'm sorry, this room is the room with the Dell Sabers, which is kind of annoying. I'm just going to stun lock the claws, and then as long as Chad is somewhat near me, I should be fine. The Dell Sabers dropped the lore. So I'll show you where the Dell Sabers are in the run. Those other ones are more if you're just doing box checks. item. I think we're coming up to the room I was describing earlier. Not quite. One more room, I think. Sky ID also has chances at, like, Lava's Cannon from other enemies. So, it's still probably worth killing these enemies for the most part. So you can see from this particular room, there's a red door going north and a door to the south. The door to the south is a healing circle, so if you're a cast, feel free to just spam all your freeze traps now in this room. You're just going to get a reset. The doors to the north is a very small encounter area filled with traps. Like, it's a, it's a long but thin hallway with not a lot of room to navigate in, but it does have a Del Saber. So normally I just spawn the Del Saber and leave. If you were to take that door back, it just leads to that closed door we saw earlier. Like if I open up my map, you would see it. It'll end up uh, right there. Which is not worth going back for, but it is worth fighting the Del Saber. So normally you would skip the side rooms, depending on what kind of hunt you're doing. As a reminder, you could get a free refill on everything if you go to the south. I'm going to show it off on stream. Might as well just take the healing circle. <laughs> I was going to say, chat, this is how you know I used to do this run. If I know where the healing circle is, I'm like, yeah, I, I did this quest too many times. I'm so sorry. <laughs> just way too many times. I did this for um, Swordsman lore, basic, my, like my literal first heavenly arms and everything else. I'm actually going to go to the north first because I want to hit the Del Sabers. Normally, I would skip this room if I was doing Indie Bell Road. Uh, I'm going to just hope I don't die to trap. We're going to go with I hope I don't die to trap. So we're going to kill the Del Saber that spawns here. Oops, I died to melee. Rip me. So if you go too far down the hallway, there's a lot of traps. I think somebody might have Lieutenant Mantle because I saw them shoot stuff earlier. Once we kill that Del Saber, we could just literally leave. Just got to force it to spawn. There we go. Ouch, I got bodied. Rip me. Sadly, his jump attack does way too much damage to me. Go away. See my profile pick in lobby? I'm assuming somebody in the team is there. Well, team has to actually fight this. I mean, I'll stun lock him. It's fine. So anyway, that's it. We don't, we don't do the rest of the hallways. The hallways are just backtracking. And I'm not even honestly sure why they added those hallways. Oh, that's remote battery. So this room I was talking about earlier, if you look at the ceiling, there's traps near the chests in the main path. I don't think there's a Del Saber down here. We could technically just skip the room that's straight ahead. The normal path is to go north. Uh, so the way this room works... Oh, yeah, I baited the trap. So the way this room works is if you take the warp unlock, you're going to get two extra chests, which is not really great on ruins without anguish. So honestly, we could take any path. Both paths end up taking us to our destination. 
So it's like, if you really want to open a couple more boxes, you can take the warp, but kind of whatever. So the warp would just leave you at the southern end of the room, but on the other side of those double doors. Our destination is the, the double doors that are right in front of me. So essentially we're going to be coming up to a room with a ton of Indie Bell Rose. This, this quest I also do resets on for things like Spread Needle. So if people don't have like their fresh Spread Needle, I use this quest for like literally everything, because it has everything you want on Ruins 1. There's going to be like a bazillion Del Sabers. There's going to be, I think there's only 11 if I remember correctly, Del Sabers on the first floor, which is not a lot, but the remainder of the quest has like 30 or 31. So we bo we basically just need to full clear the quest. This quest will appear. Oh, Team Lord, that into me. That was rude. Ooh, somebody lined up with me and got me killed. Rip me. I wasn't moving at the time. Anyway, so one of the things that we'll have to pay attention to is uh, whether or not this quest ends up in RBR, since I think this quest is actually pretty good for a lot of hunts. I'm debuffing him so I don't explode. I'm a level 81 character in Ultimate Ruins, which is a little scary, given that I'm a force. I kind of don't want anything to hug me. So you can see these Merlins. These Merlins tend to drop this... Why did he hit me? I'm so sad. But anyway, uh, the Merlins are the things that usually drop Spread Needle on other IDs. Go ahead and get some buffs in. So this room is kind of interesting because it eventually just devolves into play play a game of red light, green light versus all of the anti bell rows. So yeah, you can see where all the spread noodles are right there. All, all that all that purple pink, those would be spread noodles on other IDs. So again, this quest is useful on yellow ID. It's useful on pretty much everything. We're gonna use it for sky ID though. If Viridian had, like, slightly better drops, I would have maybe considered it for the quest. But I think I'd rather just go for Ubers. So essentially, once we clear out the first few waves here, it's going to be Indie Belra spawning in, like, a slow square and circling the square room. So eventually I'm just going to have to pick a, por a corner and hide in it until it's all over. Until then, we'll wipe them out. I was like trying to put name to character for a second there. But we're almost at the Indie Bell Rose, so I'm gonna start hiding in the corner a little bit. Oh, come on. Yeah, unfortunately, my defense is just not high enough to survive Del Saber. Kind of the downside of the character. I'm just, I, I legit get one shot. There's not much I could do. If they target me, it's over. Case in point. Not enough stats. My defense is like 135. It's absolutely atrocious. That's going to be interesting when we get to the harder parts of the quest. Please don't hit me. Ooh, look how much they do to me. Me alone. We got one more wave to go. There's the level up I desperately need. I actually need both defense and health. I'm gonna do this and hopefully stun lock a few of them. Cause I do okay damage despite my level. But I'm not gonna be able to help with the Darkbringer at all because forces don't really do much about it. There's another Del D wave. I totally forgot about this wave. Well, anyway, it's fine. We'll clear these up. me alone. Oh, there's the Indie Bell Rose, finally. I'm gonna stay over here. Rip 
team. Yeah, if I realized there was going to be another force, uh, I probably would have gone Hue Cast. I think if we do this kind of quest again, I'll bring the Hue Cast. I just needed somebody with Sky ID to host. I was like, I'll just pick this character. Reverser is so deep in that list. Right, I'm going to play the game of don't line up with anybody and I should live. Looks like our damage is pretty low. You know what? I think it's worth actually restarting before we go to the next floor. The next floor is much harder than this floor. I think it makes more sense for me to bring damage. But once we're once we're done with this room, let's just reset. I'll bring in the damage. That's so sad. I'm gonna do my best to debuff them a little bit. Yeah, forces don't feel like a ton of damage in ruins in general. The double force is a little brutal. Let me switch characters. As long as we have one person buffing, debuffing, that should be fun. I think we're done with the, the floor. Let's restart, but I want to bring in the damage. Let's see, what character would be the best? I could do Hue Cast or Cast make more sense. I think Rock Cast actually makes more sense. I'm going to bring in big damage and traps. <laughs> I think we need AoE clear versus single target clear. What weapon you recommend I use? I have Raz. Oh, Baran's. Uh, I usually recommend 50 hit charge arm, but if you're fighting any Belra, you probably need Vices, Vulcans, or a Heaven Striker. Since Baran's launcher is just way too slow and doesn't reach. Need something with either a lot of range or speed potentially to stun them. Bye. Right, let's try this again. As long as somebody else hosts it, uh, hosts it as Sky ID, I think I'm good. I think even Promethean has it. Yeah. I'll let Promethean host. So I'm going to be bringing in damage. <laughs> that way it should go a lot faster. I actually like this quest as I said before in a whole bunch of IDs. But usually I run it with... Usually rangers? For rangers for ruins. I think force and solo is actually okay. The problem is like when we get to like the Darkbringers and the second floor, forces just can't kill them. Just Their resists are just too high. No worries, Chris. Take your time. Everybody can rejoin. We're going to go a bit further. This time for real, for the Swordsman Lord. So sometimes you just have to adjust to the party. So ruins with like three level 80s is kind of rough. So I'm going to go ahead and just bring in max ATA, max ATP, traps, etc. Since I know a little bit more about the spawns on the first floor. Ooh, only... Oh, no hit on the charge arms? So what I'm talking about with charge arms, standard charge arm, 50 hit. Mostly hit that matters. 
Oh, 50 hit. Yeah, that's good. Okay, just making sure. Because I just saw 25 dark, and I'm like, uh... So we're just waiting for... I think Draco Cougar, if you'd like to rejoin. I'm going to be bringing in basically everything to kill everything near me. <laughs> Just <laughs> spoilers. I, I brought Spread Needle. I guess in theory it could be 502 if I really need to. Yes, I should bring it. Please. Don't need Cannon Rouge in the run, so I can afford to put that away. I think there's any, like, switches to quest on any floor. Yeah, let's have some... Which for items... Uh, everything in Episode 1 is higher EDK than Episode 2. Migit is miserably ineffective here. I would not recommend Helling through this. If you go to Extermination, we'll do Endless Nightmare 4. Yeah, you need, you need, like, raw damage. I would not try to hell anything in Episode 1. There's, like, very few creatures that care about it, and none of them are in ruins. Everything else is, like, 60 plus EDK. If not, outright immunity. But anyway, as long as I received a level, like, a decent buff, we should be good. Because <laughs> this character will do everything else. Yeah, I just need buffs. Thank you. Uh, I'll put a happy little confused trap down for them. See how they like this. Yeah, this is the difference of the charge arm in this room. I'll still check these boxes, because it's a quick check. We'll skip the optional check beyond this. Just because there's no monsters I have to fight. We'll check the boxes. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so I know that I have 20 traps to use between here and the healing circle. And in fact, I can even go and kill the Del Saber room with what I have. And get traps back if I really need it. Now let's use Confuse, that way they can target themselves. I like that the charge special doesn't push back the claws. Kind of a neat touch. I just really want them to not do anything. I just do this. There we go. There we go. Damage has arrived. Goodbye, Arlen. Probably want something like this. Yeah, I would recommend if you are within range of Indie Velra, if you can lure them, that will save a lot of time. They have pretty high defense. Oh, no, this this character doesn't care about ruins. He's just kind of like, whatever. He is pretty decent here. Uh, oh, they got confused. I don't want to do that. These enemies, I'm gonna confuse for sure. Or freeze, I mean. Kill you, kill you. I mean, I'll kill without Zalor, but it'd just be nice. Save me some money. Oh, 
What is that enemy doing? He juked me. He went like away from the team there. That was so weird. I don't know what he was doing with his foul thing. I'm like, I'm gonna shoot in front of him. And he's like, nah, I'm just gonna go literally away from everybody. Like, oh. He is the victor. Yeah, there's no Del Sabers up there, so I'm not taking the optional path. I am definitely confused dropping these, though. Huh? I only have level 20 shifter? Why is that? Use. Did someone buff me to 30? Oh. Oh, does the does the force not have level 30 shift though? Use. I mean, that's gonna make it a little difficult, but we'll get through. Clear these up. That would explain a couple things. Let's go this way. Oh, I'm with the bronze badge. How many traps were over there, by the way? Remember I was saying that hallway was horrible? Okay, we're coming up to our freeze trap for real. And we're going to be spamming them so we can just collect them back again. We're just in a... He teleported even though I didn't pop his gem. Rude. He's gonna say, I'm a ranger. He should absolutely hate on me. There we go. They're just gonna spam freeze traps knowing that I'm gonna get them back. That'll give our team a chance to breathe. Welcome, Diz. Hope you're doing well. Congrats on 180. I guess I could have waited and come back for them. I guess that was technically the right play. I'm gonna kill the single Del Saber that's over here. Team can move on if they want. I should be able to solo this. Uh, I'll put a TP down. please. What was that, chat? You saw that. What was that, Beck Guns? What nonsense. Like, I'll bring the NS for- I mean- Oh, there's another warp. There we go. Let's catch up with the team. I'm just gonna take the non-treasure chest away because I don't care. I'm gonna put another telepipe down so that way they're at least in the same room as us. Have a fun little surprise if they literally spawn there. I'm gonna just lock them down with some frozen shooter. There we go. There's so many enemies here. I'm actually gonna get a few trap. Good enough. I 
need buffs. Thank you. Ooh, only level 15. Yeah, we gotta get team stronger buffs for sure. These. Yeah, I got hit with the got hit with the 15 there. Put down one more trap in a second. I would say for the pers yeah, I would say for the perspective of the green creatures, I would probably stick to Rafoe. Barda is not going to do that much damage, sadly, to them. Well, actually, I want that escape doll. I might die on purpose to reset my traps. So what I like to do when there's a larger number of enemies than I can shoot, I just confuse trap. That's my rule of thumb as a cast, chat. <laughs> if you're wondering when I confuse trap, it's like, oh, are there like five million enemies? Sure, it would be a shame if they all fought each other and save me some time. Aw, uh, freeze trap. How about that? Use trap time. There we go. I'm saving freeze traps for priorities like, uh... Indie Belras or Del Sabers. Those get kind of annoying. These enemies, yeah, I just let them walk in circles. It lasts longer too, which is nice. Del Saber near me, yeah, he needs to get freeze trapped. Get rid of him. You. Trap down. There we go. Nice little cleanup. This damage by two. It's so sad. The PD though. There we go. That was actually so needed. You have no idea. <laughs> I was like, that Del Saber was all over me. I wanted nothing to do with him. Like, please leave me alone. Oh. At the end of the soundtrack. Am I getting baited? I got baited. Came to an awkward pause. I'm like, did it fall asleep or is it actually over? We technically did the final boss music already. Yeah, I would recommend though, if you have any rank Zalor, if you could hit them with Zalor before spells, that would be huge. Because if we don't have level 30 Shifta, we at least need some uh, debuffs. Get rid of these. Another Grants level 30. I swear almost every video has had one at this point. Yeah, I just need... There we go. I just need somebody to Zalore. As long as it's like around 15, it should be fine. Put a happy little freeze trap down for them. Give the team a chance. Yeah, these enemies do a lot of damage. It looks like if the team doesn't gel in them, it looks like it kills. They get hit by the fist. Gel in will also improve survivability, very vastly so. 
Since their extendy hands actually care about ATP. Oh boy, Confused Trap on Indie Belra is scary. Don't recommend it. There we go. You know, there's multiple ways to get to the exit on this floor. I don't farm this area as much. I think up and down both take you to the exit. Up might be longer? That I have to think about. Go oh, shutting those down pretty hard. Shooter, this. I don't really want them to do anything. Alright, so as long as he's frozen, you're able to do damage to him. Paralysis also works. But frozen shooter's guaranteed, so I might as well just kill them that way. Uh, I guess I'll go up. Probably work me. The problem is I don't remember where the Dell Sabers are. We will probably explore a little bit <laughs> for future reference. I got the whole room frozen. All we really need is a lore. Sabers down there, so we could probably go back to clean him up a little bit. Where were these Del Sabers? The other way. Interesting. <laughs> I just want to see where they are. So, northern path should lead to a warp which leads us deeper in. This room is triple Del Saber, I should say. One. So sad. Thank you for this alarm. Oh, I remember doing this room for the spread needles now a little bit. Goodbye, all these enemies. Yeah, learning where the Del Sabers are will be interesting. Essentially, we're going to end up in a um, super long corridor is the end, where we're going to potentially fight a lot of Indie Belros. Or, not Indie Belros. Um, Darkbringers. That's the end goal of the quest. I'm looking for Del Sabers, so I'm going to hunt a little bit. So most of these rooms will lead to a warp of some sort. It's just a question of which rooms are actually worth doing in the future. You... You 
we're gonna be poking around to see if we can find the Del Sabers, unless they're all situated in the final room. Well, I'm also very low on moves. Should probably go back at some point. Yeah, my recommendation to deal with them is to probably put out a Gafoe to stop them from hitting you, or use Rebarda. Otherwise, Gabarda is just too slow. Part of you. Alright, so this should lead to a warp. I'm just curious. There is a Del Saber in this room. the Del Saber. So if we go up, that's progress. There should be a couple of traps in this hallway. In particular as I go to go to the end of this path. So I'm gonna check the optional room, which I think just opens the laser gate. North should be progress. I wish I had my mo really. Am I like a okay, we're gonna like half a step away. I'm gonna do that just to open the boxes, but eventually we should come to a room with Del Sabers. I'm just double checking. I might backtrack in the quest slightly later on just to see if I can find any lingering Del Sabers. It looked like if we went to the right first, we got a few extra, but there should be a lot more. There's like 30 something in this for four. It's just where are they is the question. Should take a little warp here. Oh, <laughs> the camera. So this is the final area. So we did make it to the final area, but the question was, was it worth checking the other places? So we skipped like two rooms. I imagine there can't be that many Del Sabers. Make sure to switch, step on the camera switch. We'll try to count how many Del Sabers we kill in the upcoming waves. So this leads us straight to the final area, where there's going to be a lot of annoying enemies. There's three more Del Sabers, they're just further down the path. I'm gonna go ahead and just say no to this. I'm gonna lock it down for the group. Help them from hitting the group as much. Oh, I was wondering where the other Del Saber was. Despawn because its friends die. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze the Darkbringer. Of course, there's like a million claws that block my shot. So sad. Go away from me. There we go. That's seven Del Sabers so far in this room. We fought three earlier. We need to find like another ten or so. Otherwise the other path must have had a lot more.
so many claws. Does anybody else have PB, by the way? I've been holding on to it for a while. I would like to use it at some point. There's another four. That's, I think, almost literally 14. I'm gonna do this to slow them down. As I said before, probably don't use Gabarda. If you have Gabarda, please use it. The AoE effect would uh, stunlock them pretty easily. Do some damage here. There we go. Nice. Nice shutdown. Right, where are the dark ring? Here they are. Here's one. We're just gonna shut this guy down. I'm just here to try to lock down the, the problems of the quest the best I can. I'm gonna start freezing them. Just be careful, the other ones got triggered. We're, we're playing ultra defensive for all casts. There we go. <laughs> you thought you could dodge me, but I was inside the Darkbringer all along. Nice try though, Darkbringer. Cool, gold badge. Like that. Hey, what? Died over here. What? What? What, what incredible desync. Nice, that's like 17 that we've killed here. <sighs> Whoever keeps moving, I can't hit the frozen shooter because they're moving too much. I tried. Right, let's lock that one down. Shut this one down. I was going to say, the trick is to just walk towards them and walk away. If you're trying to figure out how to dodge it... Oh, that's not good. You can bait them to swing, and that leaves them very open. Otherwise, you'll go basically on pace with them. So I think there's at least six Del Sabers we didn't see, if I've been counting correctly. There must have been one down the other path. Take a look at this. We initially went through here. We didn't go through this door, but I think it just warps us to here, I think. Hmm. Unless there's like a room here that leads into here first, maybe. Interesting, interesting. Well, anyway, end of endless four. People also do it a lot for the dark bringers in this quest. Sadly, they're not on ruins one, so you have to make the long journey. I'm just gonna hand in the quest at the normal warp, I guess. Hmm. There's another quest we could try. It's everybody's favorite quest. And by favorite, I mean it's terrible. We'll do a fragment of a memory, but only the first floor, where the, where the where the quest is fun. We dare not venture to floor three though. That is the Forbidden Zone. Enter at your own peril. Nice. Okay. Well, the quest will have a... It'll have less walking, but it has random warps, which can be kind of annoying. So I figured we'd try a few once just to show up some Swordsman lore quests. I think there was one more work we could have taken for more Del Sabers, but we did kill a large majority of them.
start our inventory up real quick. Rusty needs two minutes, sure thing. <laughs> I was gonna say, I could make a yellow ID game. Are you joining Draco or are you jumping off? If you're jumping off, I think Chris can hop in. Oh, okay. Thank you, Draco Cooper. Okay, Chris, if you want to hop in, we're just doing uh, classic ruins. You can bring in whatever you want. to level any of your you have like a Ramar or like a Hugh Cass. I think we have some buffs with Frosty because Frosty had uh, Ramar I think. I think we should be mostly fine there. Yeah, Ramar should work. Mostly just need damage so... We'll give Frosty another minute or so. Uh, we're we're just showing off some things you could technically do for Swordsman lore. We're gonna do Fragment of a Memory. We could do a really cheeky reset quest, but I, I don't think it really makes sense for multiplayer. But I guess since it's really dumb, we could do it. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's do the... We'll do the dumb one. <laughs> It, it'll be real quick, I promise you. It's literally just clear three rooms. Although, actually, I don't know if that works with uh, four players. We'll find out. It's something you do in like single player normally. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Humor me real quick, uh, Promethean. Could you try Lost Hell Palash? I'm curious where that sends us with four players. <laughs> sure thing, Diz. We'll let you know if a spot opens up. I'm curious with four player what the difference is with the quest, if any. Starts with two Del Saber. It's mostly looking the same to me so far. Not sure if a path opens up differently, I don't remember. We've lost the team somewhere. Where's the team? It must be in another room. So we killed three Del Sabers. Yeah, they must have been taken somewhere else. I was gonna say, it's up to them for buffs. Fortunately, I have so much damage, it shouldn't really matter what I do here. Interesting. I think our room is the one with the Dell Sabers, looking at it. Yeah, normally I play this, like, solo. I was curious what the difference was with four player. I guess that answers the question. Oh, did I really miss one shot on the Grand Sorcerer? That's so sad. I saw that 95% chat. Brutal. Whatever. Curiosity. I wonder if that means they can work to us or not. This is the Del Saber room, right? Yeah, this is the Del Saber room. So they got sent somewhere else. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a telepipe down. They could just join us real quick. I'm pretty sure they could warp to us. If they take their telepipe back, they should be able to join us. Because this is the this is the room that we need to fight. 
We're almost done with the room, believe it or not. Or done with the run, believe it or not. We're almost there. Oops. I was gonna say, the real question is, will they take the telepipe? There we go. Now we're all grouped up. <clears throat> oh, there was some in your room too? Interesting. We'll have to join your room and then kill it. <laughs> so I think this is almost the quest. Normally you just go, a, I think that's two rooms. You could go one more room just to double check. So in single player, you'll end up on this path that we're here seeing. 3-4 player, it could be interesting. So we're just double checking if anything at all spawns in here, and if not, that was the run. I just don't recall if this room had something. Rude. Uh, this is Lost Hell Palash. So it's just, you do literally the first three rooms and that's it. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So once you kill the Del Sabers here, that's it. You just quit the quest. <laughs> so it's not a very long run. Hi. Right. There we go. Slash lobby. Quest over. See, nice and easy. It's a dumb run. So have fun if you want to grind that out. Uh, if you want to do a more solid quest, we could try Fragments of a Memory. It has less walking to clear it compared to Endless Nightmare, but there's slightly less Dull Sabers. So we'll do that one next. And then finally we can show off, I guess, something in Episode 4 for Swordsman Lore. Then after that we'll see what the chat wants. Where are my Moon Atomizers looking? Still at 10, good. We'll just wait for everybody to rejoin, and we'll uh, mosey on. There we go. So we'll do... I think it's a retrieval. Yeah, it's retrieval, fragments of memory. So the goal of this one is just clear ruins one. That's it. So we're, there's going to be a starting platform where we can shoot downwards on our foes. I could volunteer to go trigger it, I guess. So if you guys want, you could stay safe once you're done with this initial wave. So all the Pew Pew Rangers could just sniper away if you want. After that, I usually go to the left for both ball. But I don't remember where the Del Sabers are. If you remember, we do this quest for um, key parts, normally on lower difficulties. So we'll learn in real time where the Del Sabers were. I know there's both calls. Yeah, it's the key parts quest. But this time we do it for uh, Del Saber. So it is nice that this quest has like multi utility and purpose. I learned it from my video. Nice. There we go. It's just kind of one of those things where you run the quest, you mostly know how it goes, but you don't remember the specific enemy spawns. So if I go to the left here, I know this is a dead end. So I'm just going to go here to double check. Oh, you ambushed me. Nice. Glad I helped you with the deep parts. That sorcerer teleported. What a troll. Yeah, I remember, I usually do this room for the bull claw. <laughs> this is also like the, the joke run I do for, uh, what is it, Psycho Wand? Oh, there are gel sabers in this room. Okay. I usually just kill the bull claw and leave. <laughs> Be real with you when I'm doing solo runs. Exactly. I just go here. Yeah, I'm glad we went to the side room. There's a lot of gel sabers if you bother killing something beyond the bull claw. There we go. Nice little cleanup duty. Yeah, the downside to this quest is that 
once you clear this up, it takes a little bit more walking. So this time walking will not technically be as fast as like a solo run of Lost Hell Palash. Just because like you're just so much faster into the game. If you want like a standard quest though, it still gives decent experience. So if you're looking for any other rares in addition, not a bad quest to know about. It's nice to be able to use it for something other than very hard mode slash hard mode. Yeah, you kind of view the, the quest in a different perspective. Normally I see a wave like this and I'm like, oh, no bulk law. <laughs> Just, that's all I know. I know where the bulk laws are. I don't remember where the dull sabers are. Kill these. Hi, Sorcerer. It sure would be a shame if I froze you. What a shame. Look at that damage. Damn, Dale Saber's going in on the chat. There we go. I got the frozen shooter. Threat locked down. Is that a level 20 shifter? Where's that at? Got it for sure. Did I leave it in the other room? I don't even see them. Unless this is it. Oh, it is here. Okay. another. So many enemies. Uh-oh, the pew pew laser's coming out. There we go. Much faster clears. Okay, we're getting closer to uh, 200 XP a second. Not too bad, given that uh, not running with like full buffs. From Del Saber, damn. That blows. I don't remember this song in the normal game. Thousand Years of Solitude. This is like the chiptune version of it, but I don't remember where this plays normally. I wonder if it's like a story song. Slowly running out of freeze traps, but it's fun. Uh, let's all pick the left warp. I'm gonna leave a telepipe here so we can come back here if we need to. I'm gonna take the left. If we find ourselves at a dead end, we just take the warp back. It's just, it's just that simple. Ooh, we ended up in kind of the main room. Okay, that was a good warp. Bye, Andy Belra. At least we could give some options. If you want to do a lot of fast resets, you could do the other quests. If you want more of a solid, fulfilling quest where you kill bazillions of enemies, I'd enjoy this quest more. The other quest is okay. It just takes, like, kind of one of those ones where you, you have to know the path. We got through most of it, but I feel like I missed the Dull Saber somewhere. Well, I guess the Northern Door wasn't needed. Unless there was something beyond the wave we killed, which I don't think there was. Bad. 
This should open a shortcut back to where we came from. I'm not gonna open it, because I don't care. I like the warps just sending us everywhere. Oh, I found the exit. Oops. Uh, well, there should be a lot more to look for. Oh, we'll put a freeze trap down. Allow chat to get in the room. There we go. Chat's able to get in the room. Though, fortunately, you can just kind of snipe everything from here. Though, this, this room layout is hilarious. So, th these are pretty free kills. So even if you're not, like, the highest level, this room is, like, so free. What can they do? Like, you just literally stand still and shoot at them. Nothing even crazy hard about it. Poor Del Sabers, though. It's actually getting sniped to death. Sorcerers, though. Those matter a little more. Perish. Right, so we're gonna double check to see. So normally, you would go up the platform and there's a warp to leave the quest. However, there's a whole area we never went to. So I'm gonna go backwards. Let's check for Del Sabers. So normally you would do that to just end the quest. But what was over here? I feel like we didn't kill enough Del Sabers, so I'm gonna go this way. There's a Bull Claw. Because there's also that whole long passageway on the other side, which also spawns enemies. So this is where if you're playing multiplayer, it might save time because players could potentially split up and check the other warps. But if, when you're just getting used to the quest, it's better to just clump it up. Once you get an idea of where the rooms are and how the room layouts work, that's where you start doing your little teletype shenanigans. Oh, I got confused. That's so sad. gonna try to bully them. Nice level 93, by the way. Let's free our companions from the wall of claw. Right, let's keep progressing. As I said before, it's worth analyzing where the Del Sabers are. So this hallway so far has not produced any. But what you can end up doing is that no matter where the warp takes you, you kind of look, we'll open the map at the end and you can kind of see the path you're intended to take. But also keep in mind, we are playing Sky ID, so there are Ubers. Speaking of which, on Sky ID, the Ubers are also on Del D's, which give Lava's Cannon. And Sacred Cloth from Indie Belra is not a bad item to receive. Not the greatest, but it's something. This is a lot of Del Savers. I'm glad we went back. Like that. If it was just like two or three, no, it's seven, and there's a lot of these here. Plus, the, the sorcerers, as a reminder, are Psycho Wand. So seeing those is like, nod your head. We have so many choices here. Um, I'm gonna go up first. So one of the other doors might have led here. Like, if you took a warp, I think that leads to where those double red doors are. Just FYI. Definitely good we came over this way. So just remember, Sorcerers are Psycho Wong, Deldeans are Lava's Cannon. Sky ID does whatever it wants here. If all you care about is Ubers, basically every room is a little treat, potentially. Sadly, they don't get anything crazy from Bulkwall. I wish they did. Instead of Morning Glory, they got like a V5 unit or something. Like, just O1. It doesn't have to be too crazy. A nice value. This should lead to the warp. Oh, actually, no, it's a healing circle. Oh, it's not the room I thought it was. Well, I will gladly take that then. So we could take the long hallway that leads back. We know that eventually it has to lead to a new area. I'm going to go south first, and then we'll do the long hallway, I think. Just to clean up the quest. Let's try going this way first. <laughs> now with more freeze traps. So I guess that's good to know for solo play if you're playing a, 
a raw cast or something. It'd be relevant to know where the healing circle is in the quest. I can't say I've ever tried to go to it on purpose. Normally, I just go for the exit. Nice, more swordsman lore chances. Look at the damage we're outputting. Okay. Ah, uh, so one of the warps would have taken us here. That's fine. Okay, so this room was worth checking just because there were a couple of Del Sabers. And we're gonna wrap up the quest by taking the long hallway. Let's see if the long hallway was worth it. You can see this will eventually take us into that gap down there. There should be enemies that should- yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, there should be enemies that try to stop us. You know what? I have so many freeze traps. I'm just gonna freeze trap them. Grip freeze trap. I love that vocal spawn. It was just an instant no. Or just double free strat. We're like, listen, we're not dealing with that. Nicely done. Four Psycho 1 chances for the group. It would be very funny if they did drop Psycho 1 here. Like, like we're looking for Swordsman lore, get an Uber instead. <laughs> so silly. Oh, Sky ID. There we go. So many enemies. That's what I want to see. I like rooms where they just keep spawning and I don't need to leave. Like, thank you. Small mercy upon me. I believe we're near the end of the quest. Might be one of the final rooms we check. Otherwise, we did a full fear. Yep. Just... Okay. So, that is the quest in a nutshell. Let's see. What are other things you could do for swords? So my big one, I would say, if you wanted to do Yellow ID Christmas Fiasco, obviously can't do it since it's not that time of year. One second. Probably one quest we could do. That has an okay amount of Gerda Bulu. I prefer not to do Sweep Up Operation 14, but we could do one M one maximum attack E desert. Would a cookie help get it? Uh, sadly not really. There's not that many Gerdabulus in the cookie quest. I think there's three or four. Yeah, I would probably. I mean, I definitely would recommend Christmas Fiasco for any Gerda Boom ones. That's that's the time of the year where you just suddenly start playing all those characters. But we could do a quick uh, maximum attack E just to showcase the other one. I'll make the game since it requires you to be yellow ID to do it. And then, kind of alternatively, if you just do. If you want it as kind of like an off rare, you could do it while doing normal boss hunts in episode 4. Versus like a focus. Let's try that out.
currently the desert quest has additional Gurdabulu added. Normally, if you were to do like the entirety of the boss clear quests, there's only one Gurdabulu at the end, and then two in desert, I think, prior to that. But desert adds doubles. As long as somebody has demons here, we should probably be okay. I'm gonna try to lock down the quest really hard with freeze traps. So the first wave is gonna be four Gorons. Uh, I might use a freeze trap here. We have a pew pew laser, which definitely helps with the clear. We don't have demons, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna use a frozen shooter here to lock him down a little bit. I'm just gonna hopefully just lock it down. I'm gonna play it real safe. I recognize the team isn't just like DPS powerhouses. There we go. So we will need a Gafoe very soon, just to warn you. <laughs> I got the paralysis. I've spread needle to potentially do follow up stuff. In fact, let me do that right now. So if I see something get frozen, I'll try to paralyze it. So we're going to be dealing with zoos after this wave as a warning. I'm going to try to do my best to lock down with B502 since I'm a cast. Uh, we'll need to potentially shoot the zoos. There's going to be one near me and one opposite of me. And then after that, if you look back towards the entrance, it'll be our first additional Gurdabulu. This quest normally doesn't have it. It's based off of existing uh, boss rush quest. Let's get ready for the Gurdabulu here. I'm going to lock it down with my B5. Ooh, somebody brought the demons. Ooh, that was that was some big damage. I'll reward the group with a uh, free strap on the Marissas. <laughs> there we go. So since I brought my V5, I can kind of do whatever roll is needed. I'll try to lock down a zoo. We can mostly ignore the Rappies. I'll try to stun them. Give the team some time to kill them. But otherwise, our focus will be just killing that zoo. Now be warned, there will be a Gurdabulu coming up in a couple of waves near the red door. Also, fun fact, if you find yourself not able to hit them very well... Oh, there we go, I got beaten to it. Confused traps cause them to face each other, which means that as long as you are not between them, they expose their back to gunshots. That's a little, little tip, I would say, if you are wondering what to do as a ranger. You didn't bring a melee. There we go. Our chat's enjoying that lockdown. So with the help of a Raw Marl or Raw Mar, I don't think it matters who, we're going to be fighting the Triple Zoo Room. So that requires you to go in a straight line, do just like the tiniest of steps to the left, like just go like bop, 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 left, and then forward, and then spam Rebarda. I, oh, I have to do it then. Fine. I mean, I could do it as a Raw Cast. This is really awkward. So what I'm going to do, uh, Promethean, Freeze trap the bottom left of the room. I'm gonna freeze trap the upper right. And that should pin them down. Oop, kill the zoo though. Kill the zoo, please, please. Don't waste the freeze trap. Okay, barely got it. All right, so I'm gonna lock these down completely. There we go. And then in the middle of the room are gonna be Marissa's, so just be careful, everybody. I'm going to do a little happy freeze trap into a paralysis. That should make the chat very happy. Listen, any I will do my best to use my actual spawn knowledge, something I don't usually focus on to help clear this quest. So then it's going to be, I think, a bunch of bad enemies over here. So I'm going to put a freeze trap down. Nice. So I'm going to lock down at least five targets completely. There's nothing they can really do. It's up to chat to do the rest. So, nicely done. I'm gonna put down another freeze trap. As long as chat deals with the zoo, we should be fine. Ow. Ow. The zoo off me. There we go. You know what? I'm hitting the zoo. We're good now. So, they don't really react to uh, 
So as long as I don't shoot first, they won't teleport. So I take this opportunity to put some traps down if Chad is curious how, like, I'm not getting constantly ambushed by them. So I take the opportunity where I could potentially get a shot off not targeting them to trap them without causing any ill effects. So if I have to take it slow, we're fine. There's going to be, I was going to say, Gertabulu on this side of the room. I'm going to paralyze it. Ooh, well done. Well done, chat. like the lockdown. So this quest can be a lot of fun for experience, too. You can see, like, because it's an episode 4 quest, we're getting nearly 300 XP a second. Granted, it can be a little hard to do this quest unless you're a force or at least a raw moral. But you can see the power and potential where we're not playing, like, super forces. But because we have Pew Pew Laser, Paralysis, and then just overall damage and traps, uh, it's more than good enough to kind of steamroll this. But you, you kind of have to know what you're doing if you want to do something other than forces. So just be warned, there's going to be triple Goron Detonator at the back of the room. So I'm going to let you guys do this. I'm going to try to freeze trap it, and I'm going to need assistance. I'm going to put a freeze trap down here and hope that I can reach the other side in time. Chat has to kill them, though. Please kill them. Please kill them. Please kill them. Oh, it's gonna detonate. Oh, it's gonna detonate. Oh, too early. That's what I was worried about. If you have to kind of judge it based off how fast your group is able to kill, but you can actually get a pretty good lockdown. So I froze two, paralyzed one. I could shut this one down with a couple shots. Um, after Zeus... You could put a safety Kafoe, but everything should be in the middle of the room. Just gonna do that. There's the total shutdown of the wave. Look at the power of a spread needle. Goodbye. So, a zoo in the middle of the room, otherwise, it's just satellite lizards. Yeah, I figured, I figured Chris would like to pew pew laser with Realmar. Because they're not looking at me, I'm able to get a paralysis off and do really cheap damage, even though all I have are guns. So technically I'm not equipped properly for the quest, but you know, it is what it is. Targetable. That was unlucky. That, that was a lot of paralysis attempts that didn't go anywhere. So because they were getting hit by laser, I had a feeling they wouldn't be able to teleport. So I actually took advantage of Chris's laser to just get that free stun on everybody. Speaking of which... Oh, sure would be a shame if I just paralyzed them all. Right, chat? Sure would be an absolute shame. Oop. Player down. Why is it not... Hello? What was I stuck on? What was that? It wouldn't let me turn. That was weird. Yeah, we could just shut down, like, the big bad of the hunt. Poor enemies. So yeah, potentially you would also do this quest as just a normal boss clear. If you did this, you get a couple less Gerdabulu. But it's, it's what I said before, it's more of an incidental rare than an intended hunt. But the difference being is that if you do the boss version of this quest, if you get rare boss, it's lame to Argent. Or no, it's not. I'm sorry. It's, um... Galatine or Daylight Scar, if I remember correctly. I always confuse the orange and yellow together for some reason. I'm gonna try my best to paralyze here. I need the team to do some damage. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I'm gonna just keep rotating in place. Sadly, I didn't get to talk about the Goron Detonator since they already spawned. I'm going to stay roughly in the center of the room, because I know there's going to be a double Goron Detonator wave surrounded by Rappies. So I'm going to make sure that I'm in a good position to freeze trap and immediately paralyze them. That'll buy the team like a solid 8 seconds to kill them, which is way more than enough. So this is probably the heaviest I've ever used Spread Noodle before. I don't usually play support Rockcast, but you know, you make do with what you have. So I'm going to get ready to freeze here. Be like, nope. Nope, enter the no fun zone. <laughs> Goodbye. Get out of here. Paralyze them, give the chat a chance. Paralyze them as well. 
so we have just like a few more waves to contend with. I was a little too close. My bad. Oh well. That body slammed it there. Uh, I'm gonna put down another freeze trap. We're almost done with the wave. There's gonna be one more Goron Detonator, I think, in the middle of the room, surrounded by satellite lizards. Uh, again, I'm gonna stay near the center of the room as much as possible here. See how we do. Yeah, just Gorons first, that's fine. What I end up doing is, uh, for this wave, I still put a freeze trap in the middle of the room. The difference is if, if they walk at me, like I'm playing in single player, they actually just explode. And now it should be the, the wave I'm looking for. There it is. So we don't really have any more use of freeze trap, so feel free to do whatever you want. The final wave is going to be double Gertabulu, just to warn you. I got a Lieutenant Mantle. Um, goodbye, Babe Material. Alright, so I'm going to go to probably the furthest one to lock it down. Paralyze it for chat. Paralyze both. It's all up to chat now. Look at this lockdown. Goodbye, Gertabulu. Mmm. Love paralysis. That's the quest. The 200,000 experience. Nice amount of levels for the team. Yeah, episode 4 is just so silly, honestly. I'm gonna put something away. I don't need escape doll. He's bad. And now we need another soundtrack. Hmm. Oh, actually, there's one we could do. Uh, we'll show another way to get incidental rares, and then uh, that's usually about it. I have picked up, I think, one Swordsman lore this way. I don't remember if it was on stream or not. So, yellow ID at the bottom... Just to let you know, Underground, it gets Lieutenant Mantle from Gorons, it gets Swordsman Lore for Gertabulu, Saint Million gives Galatine, or Contryu gives Daylight Scar. We've actually already gotten Daylight Scar from this, and since it's a special event, uh, Yellow ID also gets uh, Dwarf on Eclair Cannon Rouge, so technically you can get a lot, and Pazuzu is Girasol. There's technically a lot of value if we can get a rare enemy on Yellow ID. So potentially rolling Girasol even in that quest is kind of nice. So we'll do mo one more. And then I think what I will need is I will 100% need to grab my Cannon Root. I plan on bullying a boss. Yeah, like pretty much every rare- they get like almost literally every rare enemy is something good except for Marissa. Chris is just Flamberge. Honestly, I kind of wish Flamberge was something else. Can you imagine if it was like Disco Brayman or something silly? I'd be like, yeah, let's go. Get all the value one quest. Okay. Let's do the boss clear version of the quest. And I'll host. I figure it's something a little different. So this. The full quest gives either Galatine or Daylight Scar in addition to everything I named, so kind of nice. Surface is okay. It's mostly just you need rare enemies, otherwise it's just kind of average. But obviously with the event giving enhanced rare enemy chance and rare items up, it does give a lot more value to IDs like Viridian and Yellow ID for the event. So yeah, we're just steadily growing in power. So I'm going to bring Cannon Rouge with me to bully the boss, so team can mostly relax. If you want, you could try to heal spam me. You need 900 and... No, about 900 HP to survive the boss laser. So I should survive boss laser. I hope I don't get multi-hit by boss laser. That would make me very sad. Oops, wrong one. Uh, we'll do... do, do, do maximum attack. E, episode 4. <clears throat> nice, you got a CR? Perfect. It will be CR buddies. So I have V502 to help shut down some of the Dwarfons. 
I actually don't have a Twin Blaze on this character. I need to probably get one. Like, just buy one straight up. Because my drop rate has been garbage. I'm trying to get those. So we'll start with the four Rappies in the middle. Then there'll be a Ring of Rappies. And typically, I always forget not to spam Gafoe here. Uh, but we'll take it a little slow. So essentially, we're going to kill our squad. And then near the red door will be a big group of them. So if you have, like something that multi-hits, I would highly recommend it in a moment. I'm going to do my best to shut down as many waves as possible. Speaking of which... Yeah, look at them just not de doing anything. Just brutal. <laughs> so there's the zoos, then I think there's going to be a satellite lizard wave after this. I need to remember this. Like, this quest I should probably remember the waves on a little better. Yeah, it's these. And then I know eventually there's going to be the dreaded Babuda against the wall opposite the door. Speaking of which... <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to focus on making everybody's life as easy as possible. So I think in a little bit we might need a Gafoe for the Dwarfong. So just be warned after the Satellite Lizards, I think we need a Gafoe. I'll try to stun them after that. Yeah, I think it's after this way. Yeah, it is. Uh, there we go. Up, 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 up. Goodbye, Dorfon. This wave is kind of nice. It teaches you the elemental weakness of the upcoming enemies. It'll be fire, ice, lightning, and then... <laughs> Hopefully they clear. We'll see. It'll be fire, ice, lightning, and then... I think Zeus. When we see the double Astark in this room, just be warned, that's when we're going to need some Lingering Gafoe. I usually, if we don't have it, I usually back up the way we came, for future reference. Um, just because I know that they can't run all the way to the bridge. And even if they do dash, their dash ends at the bridge, it doesn't really matter. Oh, oops, sorry, there's one wave before this boost. So, you can Gafoe stack if you're a force at this point, since after this wave is pretty much two back-to-back -back satellite lizards into Astarks again. Just kind of whatever. Free damage. Thank you for PP laser. This does speed it up significantly. Oh, Chris actually has enough health to survive with PP laser. The zoos will be behind us, just be warned. Stun them a little bit with shots. So, after that, there's going to be a ring of three Astarks in the middle, so we should probably stay somewhat close to each other. I'm going to go for a freeze trap paralysis combo. Then uh, we'll probably need a Gafoe when they get really low. Uh, get ready for it. Get ready. Yeah, there we go. They should charge in the middle. Alright, so I'm gonna buy some time for demons or whatever. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Good shutdown. Love to see it. Huh. So far, we're we're in control of the run. We're not being bullied <laughs> by enemies. We don't have, like, the, you know, ridiculous 1500 Hugh cast deleting every enemy. <laughs> we're playing with level 20 shift OG band. We're, we're taking what's in our means. So upcoming will be a lot of Rappies and uh, not too much to worry about. I don't think there's anything even worth freezing until the Astark appears. So this group is just kind of bully central. Like, what are they going to do against the wall of paralysis? Pretty much nothing. I'm just going to make sure they just don't get to do anything. Like here, arguably, I could freeze trap, I guess. The combination of freeze paralysis means that pretty much the whole group will always be hitting. There's a zoo behind me. If you take care of that, pew pew lasers and me will probably shut down the rest of the group. After that, we have to be worried about the... not this wave. But when you see the Astarks again, that's when you know it's going to be Babu to hell. So if you're a force, I would panic and just leave, <laughs> honestly. Because the, the Babudas will absolutely mess you up. You do not want to mess with those. Respect the Babuda. Yeah, here comes the trouble. So I'm going to stay on one side, and I'm going to keep facing this way. So if 
wherever you're facing now, just keep facing and deal with the Babudo Onslaught. I'm gonna freeze trap them because they are super annoying. I think I shut down most of the wave. So essentially towards the entrance of the room, they're gonna try to punish you if you've been hiding there. But spoilers, I already knew they were gonna do that, so I put a nice little freeze trap and or paralysis set up there. Now on the opposite end of the room, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to stun them with the spread needle. There's a zoo. I think I got the zoo, sort of, there we go. So after this, we're gonna need a Gafoe. Forgot to say. So th this is the Panic Gafoe room. So just start Panic Gafoe. We just need to uh, shoot these things, then we should be good. Kill you. Yeah, this this Dwarf on it wave is really annoying to stop. I was like slightly too far forward. <laughs> How did I not get hit, chat? Look at where it is on my screen. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Wow. That definitely should have hit me, but whatever. If you were playing the surface version of this quest, normally it's Dwarfons that immediately charge you. Uh, in this version of the quest, it's just a wall of satellite lizards. It's, it's a, must, a much nicer welcome into this room. So, have fun, it should be easy. Hmm. Nicely done, love the confused trap. I'm gonna just lock down the Astarks. Those are mostly the problems of the, the area. Slow down the other waves with a couple shots. Below Babuda Wall, which I totally respect. Get out of here. Uh, so mostly just looking for the zoo. The zoo is the thing that kills people, by the way. Just spoilers. So somebody will probably be designated zoo duty. Since I know where it is, I'm gonna just hunt it down whenever it spawns. That thing is like so annoying for players. Cause imagine you're a force and you're like, wow, there's like a whole bunch of fire people and then you just get dive bombed. <laughs> just like, it just completely ruins your combo. Similarly, there'll be one on the right side of the map. So I'm gonna linger over here regardless of the spawn. So even if it turns out to be like the Astark, double, purple, whatever, I don't really care. Cause either way I should be on the side of the screen. Yeah, we're gonna shut down all of the problems. So I'm gonna remain over here. I think the zoo spawns like right here. Yeah. So I'm gonna shut down the zoo. We're gonna let Pew Pew Laser do Pew Pew Laser. Like we're gonna identify that I am not strong at dealing with the satellite lizards. It's just a roll check. So when we see the... Oh, there we go. We see the wall of enemies. We're gonna go ahead and just paralyze them all. You can see, like, I could just stall infinite time for the team to clear it. And now we're gonna fight all the Astarks. So we're gonna have a happy little group up on the long side over here. And I will paralyze a few of them because it's funny. Alright, so we'll delay a little bit on using Gafoe. Start running towards us. Start running towards us. Gafoe. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, that, that's fine. That should work. Yeah, so if the group is split, that causes the dwarf bonds to go in random directions, which is a little scary. Oh, I got clipped. Be careful, I got clipped. Yeah, unfortunate. So if we're spread apart, that's what happens. Normally, if everybody's in one area, they, uh, hard group, it's easier to spread needle. I should be able to recover this in a second, though. Yeah, that's not too bad. Black Hound Crace and Silver Badge. Unfortunate. No rare dwarf on. Game hates us. Are we sure it's 1 in 500? Quick little bug check. So I saved some freeze traps for the next area since we don't get a lot of opportunities to refresh without retrapping. Uh. No, it's the base rate is not one in three hundred. Absolutely not. Otherwise, Mill Lily would be super, super easy to get. Oh, it is rare spawn up. 
That I will agree with. If you mean like after the raid, maybe. Oh my bad, I didn't mean to paralyze him there. That was just a habit. One down. Right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna lock it down for the team. Point one in five hundred. Yeah, that's how it feels. That that is actually true. So this time we don't have to worry about the Gurdabulu at the door. But you'll see this is like literally the same quest we just did. So if you're wondering why I was showing you the other quest, I'm actually I've actually trained you for the boss rush quest. You, you might not have realized it. <laughs> There's just less Gurdamino to deal with, that's about it. Otherwise, this should look very familiar to you. So fortunately, we know there's going to be two zoos that we don't have to worry about too much. But instead of Gurdabulu, we go straight into the Marissas. So if you have Fireball, you can try to delay them a little. Right, so let's do this. Now let's output some damage. I'm done with them. No more utility, there's only murder. I chose the wrong gun. I have my frozen shooter there. We're gonna do the classic normal, normal, normal. Complete Sunlock. Rip Chris. Zerapis wanted you. Okay, so we know there's going to be double Marissa near the exit, and then Gurdabulu will be there. I'm just going to mess around a little bit. I going to say, sure would be an absolute shame if I just immediately paralyzed. Wow, Marissa, how did you dodge the triple paralysis? What an actual god, how did he dodge that? There we go. <laughs> Didn't dodge that one. Perish. Alright, so we're coming up to the zoo room again. If needed, I can do it with this character. It's just awkward. I'll do the same thing as I did before. Where? Oh, there we go. Good job, good job. Once they get low, I'm just going to leave it to the group. I'm going to try to freeze trap in time. Perfect. Got him. There we go. Complete and total shutdown of the wave. That's what you want to see. Just remember, it's Marissa's in the middle, so just be wary. So we'll do what we can to speed the Marissa's up. I managed to get Mag Blast, which is good. I'll need it for later. Uh, I unfortunately missed my trap, but it should still detonate. He thought he was teleporting. He was already dead. Poor Zoo just getting lit up with bullets. Rip Zoo. Laser says no. Oh, I'm getting hit by Zoo. Get it off me. There we go. Now I stun the Gurdabulu. <laughs> Zoo is my nemesis. I can't do my combo. I'm healing back. A pretty good XP. I mean, we're at 236,000. We got uh, Promethean up to 100. So his character is definitely climbing up in terms of ATP and extra HP never hurts okay so I still have seven freeze traps I'm just thinking about how to use them I definitely need to use at least one in this room so once the yaoi's are dealt with I'm gonna run to the back of the room in fact I'm gonna do that now I'll weaken them a little bit just to speed it up but we're going to focus on trying to freeze traps. So I'm going to wait a little bit since it takes them a bit of time. 
And I'm immediately gonna pop it, like, right now. I'm gonna pop it. Perfect. Got it. Got the paralysis. That's almost a complete shutdown of the room. Unfortunately, it's pretty hard to hit all three unless I spread the traps between everything. But then I don't have enough traps for the rest of the area, which sucks. Though it is a little tight to do with just one trap user, but uh, fortunately we have good coverage between two casts. Fun. Like rooms like this, like it's important we shut down this wave, for example. So we're gonna expend a freeze trap there. That poor zoo in the middle is gonna get shot by me. Bye, zoo. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm. We'll put one freeze trap down. Should greatly speed up the room clear here. Perfect. But that time they teleported, because I think they detected somebody shooting. Could have been me. Should have waited for them to get hit first. So we'll need some buffs. Build the Pyrogoron. Thank you for the good looking parameter. The one Gordon detonator and perma pose. We're gonna lock him down. Nicely done. I think he has a spread needle with hit, right? Yeah, he doesn't. Probably help if I did. Hmm. So, here's one of my favorite rooms in the game. Hold on. I didn't get to show it off last time, so nobody else go in for a second? Watch this. Do, 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 do. Oh, sure would be a shame if you all started attacking each other, and I just let you die. <laughs> oh, confused trap. You're so powerful here. So anyway, I'm, go I'm now in a perfect position to put a freeze trap down. This is what I wanted to show off last time. There you go. Look how unfair that is. You can come back in. It's fine. I got, I got the lockdown I was looking for. I didn't get to show it off in the last run. Spread Needle's so silly, chat. Yeah, that little Confused Trap strat is one of my favorites. It was one of those ones where I'm like, it looks like a runway. I'm like, can I just run down the middle and Confused Trap them? And you absolutely can. It even lets you stay in the position to punish them, too. So you can punish them and then also be in the right position for where the Goron detonator is. It's so beautiful. Like the placement in this quest. Let's protect our allies here from the, the menace of Raffi. We still got a few freeze traps left. Speaking of which, we should burn one here. Mercers are dumb. Anything we could do to slow them down for the team is what we should do. Two left. I know there's one Goron Detonator at the end that I'm saving it for. I could Confuse Trap this, or wait a bit. I think either is valid, honestly. He's coming in on me. He did not like that. Final freeze trap. Nicely done. And then we just have Lone Gurdabulu protecting the door. Well, there's not a whole bunch of like swordsman lore chances, but as I said before, you might incidentally get one while doing boss rush. I figured it was worth mentioning, even if it's not on the normal list. Okay, so the way the boss works, we have to spread out a little bit because it'll basically form a triangular pattern of spinners on us. So we're gonna move towards the center of the area, then we're gonna split up. I tend to go to the upper right because usually that's where one is that has a color of some sort to damage. And then from there, we'll talk about where it goes. So split a little bit, hope we find something good. I'm gonna equip Heaven Striker. 
Okay, we don't know if it's Kondry. I'm gonna go slightly to the right, just split a little bit from the group. Just be careful if you're very close to somebody. That thing's gonna happen. Oh, we got St. Million. Oh, darn. I guess we just get a Galatine chance. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a shame, chat. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, let's keep an eye out for the spinner. I'm gonna look for a red one, hopefully. Ooh, there's a red one in front of me. I'm going for it. Got it. So if you have Cannon Rouge, we saw before it evenly damages it. So I'm going to need a buff from the team a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing pretty much all power attacks since I not really miss this. Nice, I got buff. Thank you. So Laser does even damage. Cannon Rouge does even damage. If you don't got it or don't have 900-ish health, I just recommend staying in the center room. Uh, if anybody is mag blast, let me know. About a hundred. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to dolphin, so somebody else can do twins. So I I will 100% dolphin. So talk amongst yourself. I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna try to one shot this boss. It's a little risky to do, but I'm gonna go for it. Let's see what he does. All right, this should be big damage. should save a lot of time on the boss. Oh, sadly, no twins. That's okay. So I can only land normal hits here, but that's fine. Okay, I get knocked down. That's just all I wanted to learn. Nicely done, nicely done, nice and fast. Let's revive Chris. Hi, right, it's all up to team team middle. Finish the job. Oh, I should have probably specified where it was that it spawns. That is a set position for future reference. It's like at you can kind of think of it as like five o'clock ish, if you think of a clock. The disrespectful photon blast. Yeah, d yeah. Don't worry about only landing normals with a uh, cannon rouge. It does about as much as PP laser. Sometimes all you care about is speed. When it comes to just the center, though, if you see that it's at that magic number of two five five or whatever, then you can use whatever you want. If you have Vulcans, use Vulcans. Oh, sadly no Galatine. Or Galatine. Anyway, it was a nice clear. We you know, just get a casual 462,000 experience. <laughs> so this quest is really fun for XP, and I think it's actually kind of a nice quest to just learn how to do different people. So I'm happy. We got nearly half a million experience. And we got way over 330 XP, which makes it pretty much top contender for insane XP in a quest only really topped honestly by not even really like, ttf resets honestly <laughs> but probably new mop up operation three because that quest is broken but yeah it's just a really nice way to get everybody up to 180 add a little more power to everybody and it's also kind of nice because if you are slightly lower level and you're playing like a cast you just get like trap reset <laughs> Like every six rooms or something. You could just go like freeze trap mad. So anyway, I think that was all we wanted to cover for Swordsman lore. So I guess we'll move on to other requests. I'm willing to go for like another hour. Did chat just want to do like TTF or something? I feel like we did some Galatine. We we tried technically that was the Cannon Rouge run, but Dwarf on Eclair said no. One day, Chad, Dorf on Eclair will answer the, the call and <laughs> be invited into the game. Is this still around, by the way? Just wanted to confirm. Sorry about uh, not reaching out earlier. We have not played with Diz yet during the event. Let's uh, hand in the quest. 
Yeah, it's kind of nice. I like being able to use this character for both utility and damage and whatever. You could probably keep a V5 permanently, honestly. So otherwise, uh, yeah, if you just want to do some casual TTF or something. Uh, let's see. You could bring in damage. Omari and Seabag 3. Silly me, that's where all my casts are. And humor for some reason. Yeah, I figured the Hugh cast is probably my strongest character. If we even just have like a raw moral, it's probably good enough. That episode 4 quest is... I, I've run that so many times. I've learned spawn position. It finally happened. I got most of the waves correct. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, well, I guess I don't have to technically host. Sky ID is okay at hosting. For TTF, usually... If somebody is Viridian will do it, or Red. Red's also pretty good right now. The reason being that, like, Sky ID, if you look at... You know, th they don't get Frozen Shooter from Hilda Tour, number one. Number two, you know, if you look at Lily or Slimes, there are some actually good items there. Depending on which one you fight. Like, Mill Lily could potentially give, uh, well, obviously Purple Cycle one. But you could get, like, Sange from Sky sometimes. Or, if you look at the Slimes... Potentially getting Lava's Cannon from Red is always interesting. So we'll see what IDs we have. So currently we have pres presumably Promethean continuing. We have Chris continuing with us. Uh, I'm not sure, as I said before, if Diz is still here. Diz is more than welcome to hop in right now. Otherwise, I'm assuming it's probably more Sir Frosty, because I don't see anybody else hopping in. gonna say I think you're in Sir Frosty. Ooh, Bulletina is here. I appreciate the buffs and debuffs. I'm gonna be like plunk. <laughs> okay. The based off of our current IDs, I guess it doesn't matter. I think Sir Frosty was also Sky. I think it might be a Sky party. Yes, yeah, so I don't think it matters who hosts. I'll host them. Ooh, I like this song. I've heard this in a while. Eventually we'll play Etrian Untold 2, or to say what soundtrack we're listening to. So yeah, so we'll do a quick refresher at the start, since obviously there's a bazillion ways you can run TTF. So sadly, no Hilda Tour. Uh, interesting drop, unless you really want Red Saber. The Golgas Geese give Heavenly Arms, which isn't too bad. Millily is worth checking for Sange. Sometimes people want it for Sange Yasha. Uh, Pen Arms, you could kill if you want. It has a cosmetic. Mines, you want to kill the Barans. And that's honestly it. Mines, mines is kind of disappointing. Ruins, Chaos Sorcerer for Psycho Wand, and Lava's Cannon on Delties. Though so I'll remind as we go through, but I figure I just listed it at the beginning. So I have everything I need to murder a boss. This should be good to go. If I'm really desperate, I can s ride myself at a distance. I think I did that for one run where we did an oops all cast party. Switch out to a purple num next run if we want. Or uh, just doing caves. I mean, we could technically do a couple of caves runs. If chat really wants to, I will humor chat with purple caves runs because they humored me by helping me level the other character. So I'm not opposed to doing one or two caves runs in purple. In which case, I could probably just bring a force for that one. So we'll do... Let's say three TTFs into a 
purple caves. Does that sound good to everybody? Say we did the Psycho Wand again. Technically, there's a Psycho Wand in this quest, but the odds of it dropping are just hilariously terrible. Almost more terrible than Mill Lily drop rates. Okay, so step one. Gun down Hildel. <laughs> I was gonna say, we, we have two chances of uh, Sky ID Psycho Wand. That would be quite something. If we got that, we would honestly just kind of win the game. We just retire. Okay, time to do some damage. Uh, for Psycho One, there's only two sorcerers. For Deldies, uh, I think you have four chances at Lava's Cannon if you want it. Here, um. Oh, you mean like two per player. I get it, I get it. I'll chalk that up to being tired. Yeah, Millerly, we have an okay chance of getting a uh, Sage. I did actually get a Sage from them already. <laughs> so I, I know it exists. It's a 1 in 500 plus the rare boost for 50-50. So it's actually not that terrible. Like, things like Disco and Brave Man have had higher drop rates or more rare drop rates. Let chat bully a little bit. I'll try to find the exact spot to stand. I can still hit it from here to participate. Well, participation trophy. I'm gonna try to guess where it is. I think it's up here. I stood sort of close to it. I just don't want to overshoot it. I didn't go far enough. Oh well. Better than nothing. I'm setting up for slime duping. Here, Mr. Slime. Join me, and then perish. The mill lilies here. But oh boy, are they ultra dead. So, as long as chat doesn't leave me alone with the lily room, I should be good. I'll even help a little bit here, how's that? That. that was supposed to be a heavy attack, not a special. Foolish me. Pew, pew, pew. And now it's time to slime doop, doop, doop. Get some badges and XP for the team. Take little baby steps towards the door so we can pull them away so Chat can get in the room easier. There we go. Nice and simple. Love to see it. I forgot telepipes. I need to remind myself to get telepipes. I tell myself I'm gonna do it, and then I forget. So sad. Uh, so as long as we have a Zalor on the main worm part, I'm gonna jaya its brains out. <laughs> That's the only thing I need. Now I'm gonna blow, I'll blow like 50,000 for the team. How's that? I feel like that's fair. All I need is that opening. Oh, and I'm invincible. Oh, as soon as I get this allure, it's over. Let's go, Hugh Cast. One, two. Oh, you got Zalora, GG. One, two, swing. One, two, swing. One, two, swing. One, two, almost dead. One, that's it. There you go, chat. I, I spent 50,000 for you. I wanted that worm boss dead. Like, listen. 
Gonna be doing 10k a swing, don't worry about it. Aw, oh, nothing of interest from the boxes, so sad. Thank you, so kind. Yeah, rip, salute that 10k from the Jaya for swing. Yeah, let's do this. I don't even know why I put a safety freeze trap down. It's never gonna reach me. Yeah, the only thing here that we care about at all is um, the Barans. We can kill extras if you want for like badges. Just as long as we are sort of making progress to the door, we should be good. So I definitely should not be the one that's goes through, gets the Sinnoh Red. I will be the one that kills the Sinnoh Red. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here. And we're gonna do my visual trick. You don't wait for the shadow, you wait for the graphic of the leg, or the foot, depending where you are. So I see it now, so I'm just gonna put a freeze trap. I'm not even gonna shoot it. And he's dead. Uh, I could put some confused traps down. What I recommend is if there's uh, multiple players, if you just do a little arc like I did there, they should kill themselves and the team can just leave. So... That, that's my little tech tip. That's my new Hugh cast strat. Like the world's freest kill. Oh, somebody shot my freeze trap. That was rude. The freeze trap. Uh, I don't have a bazooka, so I'm not gonna go that way. Oh, get out of range. There we go. sniping fest with them. There we go. Try to peel some of them away. I mean, I might as well just get the kill while I'm here. Like, listen, I'm gonna commit. <laughs> uh, so, I don't have an ability to stun the boss, but what I do have is annoying twin blaze. I'm assuming... Chris will stun lock with spread needle. I'll assist with twin blaze. Just find your bearings, Chris. I'll spam twin blaze. I'll try to keep it pinned near me. Or actually, there's also ranger on the other side. You know what? Whoever gets to it first, I don't think it matters. You're both roughly equal in level. But I will slow it down with twin blaze no matter what. Makes it easier. There we go. So because it's taking my ATP, Chris is basically holding it in place, and then I just do bazillions of damage to it because I have a twin blaze with machine percentage. Therefore, it takes even more damage than normal, which is very funny. It kills him very quickly. You are missling me, aren't you? Your monster. This why I don't. This why I don't berserk anymore. <laughs> Unless there's two Hugh cast. It's that nonsense. If I had Berserk there, by the way, it would have killed me. Spoilers. Like, mm-hmm. I saw what it did there. Hmm. Out of room to pick this up. That is awkward. Well, I'm just gonna go get a Trimate, I guess, or a Dimate. Uh, we're gonna go for the Fast Strat in the next room. We're gonna believe the team as the Darkbringer. Between two Rangers, I have faith. We're gonna we're gonna go for a fast strat here. Ooh, I touched him. Uh, I messed up my fast strat. So he swung there because I, I physically bumped him. That time I felt like I messed up versus the game doing jank. But fortunately, because there's a ranger over here, means I could just do this. Fine. Yeah, the downside is once a ranger appears, it will only focus them. That makes certain strats much more difficult, for sure. So 
I probably want it the Deldi dead as well as yeah the timer can break randomly I don't know why so we want everything in this spawn dead I think yeah because Deldis are the lava cannons so technically this is a lava cannon hunt and then the sorcerer itself is the cycle wand see any any fun little drops nope so I'm gonna equip a charge ray gun. To deal with this. I'll probably need some healing before we go further. Thank you. So I'm just gonna focus on probably just single taps. The team here will be using things like Heaven Strikers with high ATP in order to kill things quickly. Um, not too much to say. Although I do like to say that the pattern that first spawns here is always guaranteed. So you'll see one targetable, one not targetable, then two targetable. If you line up here, you know that this is always going to be that pattern. If you're a ranger, you can hit all three in a row, which is really funny. I like just doing a little test just to see if I can uh, get it first try. It's definitely easier if player one, because you're more lined up with it to start. Now from here, it's I don't think it's random, but it does chase players, which can make it seem random. Is unless you're following like every movement on the map, then it could be hard to tell which ones are actually gonna be next. That is not the one I wanted to target. That is also not the one I wanted to target. There we go. I shot two of the furthest targets, but not the one that about to hit me in the face. Thank you, uh, PSO. Uh, do we want to stay near the upper half of the map as a hunter? Because we know that if we are pretty much any lower than I am. I'm going to have a real awkward time hitting the boss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dedicate my entire HP bar to using Vice to delete this enemy from the face of the earth. So get his lure in. You know, there's a little bit of a stream delay. You got a little bit of time for it. And then, yeah, there we go. Already got it. And we do what I call climbing the stairs. It's low enough. I'm going to switch to LNK. The reason I want to switch to LNK right at the end, right before it switches, is if I do that, I can damage this phase more easily than with vices. So I just got all those hits in for free by just switching weapons. So I end this phase much faster. Ooh, it hit everybody. That's unfortunate. I need one die made for safety. LNK is also a great weapon here because you can just keep aiming at the boss like this. Basically kill it. Ooh, that almost killed Bulletina. So as a reminder for people that are new to it, not for anybody in the group here, but just talking to people that watch the video, um, always hold forward when you're in this phase because sometimes your character will not be facing the boss. Like there, I was facing sideways. We did pretty good without his allure there, I will say. Getting it that low is pretty nice. Ooh, we almost one-cycled it. Holy, that was so much damage. If you have Foey, use Foey. Yes, nice, nice. Oh, you're targeting me? Well, that's just mean. This is rude. I can't even heal myself. Boss is almost dead. Oh. I should survive. I believe in you, chat. <laughs> if not, I'll just shoot myself. There we go. Goodbye, Falls. <laughs> so, let's compare the XP, by the way. So, oh, weird. Chrissy was, like, partially loaded into the screen. Remember, we ended at 300 and, I think, 30 XP per second for clearing the other quest. Let's look how much TTF gives. That way you can put yourself in, in the comparison. Remember, it almost gave 500,000 experience. So, 291 XP a second is still pretty solid, but it's no episode 4. Sure thing, Chris. Take some time. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. is real. So we'll do two more and then one purple caves. 
and I need to get some serious sleep for tomorrow. I'm gonna restock some healing. Sounds like this falls targeted me like a big jerk. I have to uh, restore my diamates and trimates. I got bullied. So yeah, I'm very impressed that we did enough damage to almost one cycle. It's not very typical when playing public games, especially with people of very different levels. So good job team with the uh, bringing the DPS. I brought zero DPS. I was gonna say, do you have a last swan? Last swan is hilariously decent on like all of the boss. Let's go bra 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 and just kill everything. It was my boss weapon for a long time on Hugh Casillo, I'm not gonna lie. Unless you have a hit LNK, of course, then, if you, then you just wield it. Oh no, I don't have any good weapons on this. Oh no. Yeah, I'm using, uh... Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, LNK is pretty good. I'm, I'm using a 30 hit, 20 dark, and that's good enough for Hue cast. So if I'm able to hit it with my 191 accuracy, I'm assuming you can hit it, even with, like, a mostly mediocre one, like, mid-roll. It doesn't even need to be your crazy one. Yeah, plus its base damage also helps a lot. Yeah, having that option is super crucial. I definitely feel it's like night and day. If you're playing a Hue cast and you don't have like an LNK versus the boss, you don't have a Disco Brave Man or Disco for Volt Up, where you don't have like a Vice to deal with the Heads of Falls, I definitely feel like you end up far behind in terms of damage. If you're wondering why some of the clears seem so fast, it's not in the share bag. I think somebody asked me if I had a spare LNK, which I feel bad about. I think I responded, but then I, I didn't reach out again. Forgot to look. Oh, it was you? My bad. I was like, I was just remembering that came up earlier. Uh, I don't see one in here, but that doesn't mean I don't have it. Let me check real quick if I got a junk one. Let's see. L and K. Your character reader. It's a character with two of them. Who is it? It's two on my raw marl. Does this character have one? So I definitely have them. I can give them out. It's not a big deal. Yeah, one that's 30 machine, 15 NATO. I can just give that one away. That's fine. But I need to put something away. Uh, you go back in. I'm gonna say, better than all zeros, it's okay. So let's give it to Frosty here. There you go. Bra, bra. It's not bad on Ramarl. But, uh, it's super, super useful on the casts, like the Hugh Casillo and Hugh Cast. Because it's one of their long-range options on Falls. It's also not bad if you're trying to do what drafts last long as uh, Promethean. That is a Photon Crystal uh, catch from Black Paper Deals 2. You can play like almost any difficulty and get it. There's, it. I usually play normal for it, but I think you can also get it in Ultimate. Otherwise, you get Master Raven and whatnot. So sometimes we'll just burning random photon crystals. I'll do that quest and randomly get a centurion ability or whatever. <laughs> I was gonna say we might be opening the doors to cookie value. Because uh the photon crystals being converted is uh kind of interesting. 
If you look at that list, it could turn into like Blast Swan, Centurion Ability, Aster Raven. Those are things where like Photon Crystals are normally one to one. But if you get one of those, you technically quintuple the value, which you could technically get by getting a lot of gold badges. So in theory, you could fund a whole Photon Crystal thing and just farm. Dumb little Black Paper's Dangerous Deal too. Yeah, what, uh, let me open the exact thing for Black Paper. We just talked about it. So... On normal, you can get Master Raven, Last Swan, Smart Link, Photon Drop. Not bad, Yun Chang. Ultimate, you could get things like Vivian, Shuren, Smart Links. You get more treasures. So technically, you might end up with better things. But there's also kind of junk items in there that are just mediocre on Ultimate, sadly. So I usually go normal mode if I want one of those. But Ultimate if you just want more overall items. Some people will pay for, you know, all zero degree shear or whatever. Yeah, normal is also the only one where you could get Master Raven or Last Swan. Normally it's a choice. Hard mode, for example, only is Master Raven. Very hard only is Last Swan. Uh oh, grabbing Red Ring. Uh oh. The flex. Hold on, gotta power up. There we go. Is Dual Bird worth making or just keep Last Swan? Um, it's kind of booty. I have one, it's very disappointing. I kept saying it's like, oh, use it on Huka Seal. She's got great accuracy. No, it does like no damage. I think unless you sphere it, it is like legit not worth using, and I would not sphere that over like Excal or anything else. Yeah, it's like a it's a mech gun that has I think around 300 ATP and boosted range. So technically it could be a falls weapon, technically. If you really just wanted to spear it into like a you could seal specific long range attack. It's not bad at that, but it's like it's a huge commitment. Uh, I don't think most players will do that over the other option. Nor should they. That's like a I'm done with the game. There we go. There we go, deal with these. Yeah, like, I had one in the Huka Seal. The problem, too, is, like, it takes so many levels due to its minimum ATA that it's, like, only really usable at, like, 160 plus. Like, it takes a really long time for a weapon. Which, to me, by that point, I managed to get an LNK before I could, uh, do anything else. Alright, I'm gonna overshoot the warp a little bit. Let's see if this fixes it. Yeah, I overshot. That's fun. It just means I'm in position for slime duping. That's all I view that is. I'm not behind. I'm simply in the right position for slime dupes. Come over here. Yes, give me the slimes. I don't think I've ever heard the boss music for this before, for the final boss, because I'm so used to just popping the transformation song that I just never hear this theme this long. Kind of kind of funny. Like, I think I play like 15, maybe 20 notes, and then just boom, max power unleash. Oh, no Mill Lilies. So sad. No song gaze.
There we go, we're assisting. I'm gonna say, get ready to salute another 50k. One, two, three. I'm gonna be sacrificed to the great Jaya god. Two cast life is expensive. And, uh, needing to make up damage. Goodbye, slimes. I did it again, chat. I didn't get a teleport. I could put away my S red to hold it too. I think originally maybe I had them and then I put them away for S red. It's usually one or the other when you play. Uh, no healing, really? Or not healing, I mean no invincibility? That's annoying. Might get interrupted during this, we'll see. Ooh, that was a 2k crit, I saw it. I'm gonna conserve a bit of money, because I don't want to get knocked out. I only spent 30,000 that time, chat, my bad. Just... I, although, to be fair, two of those hits did crit, and it did like 8k to the boss, but whatever. Oh no, no money. I was gonna say, Hugh, Hugh casts hungry for cash. Oh, we briefly beat 360 XP a second. Yeah, the boss drops on Sky are pretty booty. Well, that doesn't actually kill. Hmm. I guess I do have to use vices there. Oh well. Today we learned. Shots out. That's good. Sorry about that. Got distracted by a text message at the worst time. <laughs> I was like, who actually is texting me at like 1.40 in the morning? And I was like, oh. Now it makes sense. Luminous. Field. I should probably pick that up. Uh, sorry, a material. I'm assuming people would want that. It's a, it's a visual armor. Visual armors usually go for a couple PDs, and it rolled like 44 defense. It's not like really low either, out of 50. Back to clearing. How did that guy dodge me? What a pro. I got outplayed, John. Yeah, I think Luminous Field sells for like one or two PDs. Might as well pick it up. Anything with like an aura on the armor generally has some interest. I did 50-50. I failed. There we go. See if the boss trolls or not. Will I immediately get targeted with missiles? <laughs> die there we go I, I got to I got to enjoy the boss fight
boss drop money, nice. There we go, I assisted. Alright, this time I need Vice out. That was the problem I did last time. That's fine. One punch there doesn't matter. Oh, it was like one shot from hitting him. Damn, that would have killed him too. Oh well. The sacrifice special does like uh, like 1100 per shot. So he is just absolutely dead if that lands. Just slightly too slow because I bonked. So sad. Here, um, speaking of which. Here, um, down a freeze trap, down another freeze trap. I should have berserk there, but that's fine. Build the Delty. No lava cannon, rip. Oh well. There we go, we're escorting the Hugh Seal up many levels. <laughs> from from 80 and now I guess beyond. <laughs> oh, only at a longer range gun. Oh, actually, Chris is employing something that is kind of funny. Pew Pew Laser will actually instant kill this the targets here. So if you did have the backpack, you could just legit laser them. By the way, if it's the even beat. Yeah, it is even beat. But if you won, it literally just hits them. You almost never get to use it, but it is amusing when it works. <laughs> Figure Chris would appreciate the, the tech. They actually have so little health against, or so little light resistance against it, that even the raw cast and raw seal can kill with that, by the way. The raw moral can kill at any level with it, of course. There you go, niche applications. <laughs> Heaven Striker in episode one achieved. I'm gonna do some big damage. That was the lore, okay. There we go. Done. Yeah, it's actually really good. So some people will technically get like Heaven Punisher just to do that on a cast if you want. I've seen uh, Tiki do it a couple times. It's very funny. Like, there we go. The Uber has use. Oh, nice. Team's still mostly on hit. Perfect. Good job, team. Look how fast these phases are. Oh. Wrapping it up. Ba -da 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 -da. And speaking of which, I'm going to be using my Gatling here. Oh. I think it was the only one hitting. So sad. Didn't see any other gunshots? Be able to kill it on the way down, we'll see. At least, oh, short cycle's the first here. So it's gonna become invincible, and it'll become targetable again. I guess I should vice it. Let's vice it. Oh, I almost killed it. That was close. Whoever is soul linked, I'm so sorry. Rest in peace, Bulletina. You know. Oh. I was, say, no, I was waiting for the revive before I went for the kill. Make sure you get that XP. I'm a ghost! See, Chad is enjoying the Trials of Mana one. There we go. Nice and simple.
Whenever that black bar comes down, I keep thinking it's red rank. It's, it's such a tease. I was like, I hope somebody got it. I was like, no. It's just the black bar loading weirdly. Let's go ahead and get that Masetta. So we'll do one more, and then, of all things, we're going to end with an Uber run. <laughs> I almost never do them. But I figure we'll do one purple ID Psycho Wand. So the way I see it is that... Wasteland every run. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> it is kind of true. We have not gone to Red Ring, which is unusual for the stream. Yeah, like literally, what was it, four days ago? We had three Red Rings in one day, and they were all grouped with me. Even Chris got one of those three Red Rings. The curse was broken. It really, well, well, the funny thing was, too, is that Chris got a red ring, then I streamed, and then there were two more red rings, and I'm like, well, <laughs> it's crazy, crazy. So there we go. So we'll do one more, and then we'll do a nice little purple run. So normally for uh, Cycle Wand, I tend to do solo force from when I used to do it, so definitely forgive me, I'm a little fuzzy with some of the spawns, but... I think for the most part, I will probably just bring in Cure Paralysis as Phonuman. So I'll bring in a force, team can bring in whatever they want. So if they want to bring in characters to the level or whatever, it's just literally after this, of course, we're going to do TTF. So bring in whatever you're comfortable with in caves. I will hopefully just shut down the entire room. Sadly, lightning does not kill them in uh, multiplayer. Music intensifies on the final run, of course. Over 800 runs of TTF and no red ring. Oof. Or Promethean. Oh, this is like a battle theme. I forgot about this one. This one is Shiver on the Untold 2 soundtrack. Oh, they died so fast, the free strap didn't even detonate. Catch is too quick. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, so far I'm happy that uh, the Twitch thing that I did with OBS seems to be working well. People have been mostly pretty steady with the stream connection. Hopefully the new viewing options are coming through to people watching. Since uh, they, OBS has, did a recent update to allow for Twitch integration. And I think that solved a lot of the complaints it was giving me. Well. To make sure it gets it here. Not going the right way. That sucked. I got baited by the camera angle. So sometimes if you're holding a direction, it doesn't... It'll react differently than if you hit the same direction post-camera flip. So I think I might have been holding it and forgot to let it go to neutral. So it did not go the direction I thought it would go. Oh, I accidentally deleted him. My bad. Rip slime. this for chat. This will save them some time. There you go. The mercy. Slime dupe in time. Duo. 
One, two, three, spam the fire trap. Hmm. The little baby steps. I forgot to do telepipes again. That's fine. I got distracted earlier. I got to put away my luminous field too. What I get for spacing out. I was gonna say, that's good. I I can't, sadly. You know what? I'll take a safety try made here. It gives me no invincibility again. I'm gonna be so sad. Please give me invincibility. Thank you. <laughs> Apparently it was at the cost of everybody else's. There we go. You cast power. One, two, swing. One, two, swing. Swing. And you're already dead. So I guess if you did nothing but worm boss resets, it would be more than episode. Second. But then you gotta factor in lobby time. Increasing in the same amount of minutes. <laughs> Re. Oh, I recognize this. This is in a uh, train mystery dungeon. Ooh, it's like more digital. Interesting. enemy wants me. Go away from me. Listen, I will I will destroy all of them while I wait. Out of here, enemies. Such good. I love that timing. Love that timing so much, chat. You have no idea. Oh, were you fighting me, or are you just walking into my confused traps? Thanks, Cinnablue. Blue. <laughs> and I help. Say 808 health. You can almost survive the episode 4 boss laser. Need another 91, I think. fireballs on that one. Fine. Man, just go Ray Man is so broken. Lyrics? No. <laughs> Peaceful dining music as we go into the final area. I think this is literally the uh, kitchen theme. Let's see if I can get this. You're wide open. 
I will check to see what the follow was. Fifth Semi, thank you for the follow. There we go. That time I got the fast kill. Glad we did it on the last one. I'm like, I know it's not facing me, which definitely adds a level of difficulty that makes it more annoying than it should be. But, uh, I'm glad we got the fast kill there. It saves a lot of time. Especially if we accidentally pop a Sorcerer Crystal. That loses so much time. Like a 10 minute run, it's like <laughs> almost like 10% of the run. Oh no, I got crit! Oh, I got crit. It's so sad. Rip me. My bad. Speaking of, speaking of time waste, my bad. Get rid of you real quick. I mean, I'm glad the freeze trap went off, but I would have preferred it was before it hit me. There we go. I have to not die to the dark breaker. So I'm gonna do this, this, and this. There we go. Just, <laughs> just like luring them away from me. I'm like, please go away. I don't really want to deal with you. Wow, messing around and we're still here before 10 minutes? Funny. We're legit killing extra rooms. Ooh, it's just the tail end of even beat. The last of the pew pew. so far. We're up much later than we normally are. But it's okay, because it's a uh, day off. Although, technically, <laughs> I technically played PSO on Monday. I don't plan on streaming later tonight. Monday's usually my off day. of an awkward spot, not gonna lie. Right, so we switch into LNK there to hopefully get a couple pot shots on this boss. Let's see what happens though. Okay, got some hits. Nice, we clipped it. A little, little bit of ranger assistance there for the final hit. All we needed. Take a step forward, got a gun. There we go, decent damage. We'll get a lot more if it stays near one of us. There we go. I got the vice. <laughs> you can tell when I get the vice hit. It's like, yeah, there you go, my health. Goodbye. Nice. Skip that other phase. We don't need it. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm willing to go to one health <laughs> to vice that thing out of existence. I'm like, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm not sure why increasingly breaks the victory screen. It is very funny, though. Your face just clips through. Too powerful. Oof, antidote. Although, although you, although today, I guess we got, uh, we finally got bronze badged on a boss. 
That was embarrassing. Like, man, one day, one day. <laughs> just like, come on game, come me a break on that one. That's just mean. It's like, oh, you could have had something good, but here's this bronze badge. All right, so I'm gonna switch characters. I'm gonna put this away, and then I'm going to go buy telepipes. Like I said, it was gonna do like three TTFs ago. Let's put away the luminous field. Plus, I need to restock mates anyway, so this kind of works out. Play a little bit of our materials. check for a 50 hit weapon because it's funny oh well yeah i'll bring in uh waluigi and then uh his forceness will basically lock everything down i would recommend if you have a cure paralysis you use it or if you're a ass you just exist and laugh at them excuse <laughs> he's looking for cookies uh, we're just doing a quick Psycho 1 run. I always forget which massive attack it is, because it's not fair, because they're all massive attack. <laughs> and it's like, it might be C that I normally do. I never remember. I think it's C. Question mark. So there's 62 and A. 62 and B, 63 and, oh, 63 and A. Yeah, we can do B, I think. So one cycle one attempt to end the stream. And that will be the final run of the night. Surprisingly not a TTF. Wow well, indeed. <laughs> I love that I added additional A's. In case people triple A'd and I did wall with just one A. There are many ways to wall. Also, why is this character so much funny? Got away. way. That one I don't know. I might have to add more. I'll do one with just double A. I'll make a note. Oh, who's holding my other adifs? That's annoying, I forgot. Uh... Yay! This is the Reaper's power. Thinking about it, I think it's my... Oh, it's my blue ID character. This okay. is the Reaper's power. That's fine, I only need one for this. Um... Anything else he needs? Not really. This is the Reaper's power. This is apparently the Reaper's power. You're pretty much screwed. Sorry about that. Let me just get a cure paralysis and we should be good to go. Good enough. It's been a long time, Lenneth. Boom. Did we just 
just see something we weren't supposed to? There we go. All the sound commands. Hey, we got Promethean almost to 110. That's quite a jump for uh, box runs later. A lot of accuracy. So my job is to basically just be annoying throughout the entire quest as much as possible. So I'm going to basically be Gafoe spamming. And or just Rivarda spamming. But the goal being that if I lure everything, no matter what people's levels are, they should do pretty good damage. We can see the slimes have duped over there if we won. It's fine, they can perish. There we go. So with immunity to paralysis, I can basically just do stuff like this to the entire room, and there's not much they can really do about it. So it sucks to suck. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna have all this set up in the world. And then I'm just gonna get Poe repeatedly. That would annoy them. They get a witch. Slowly chipping them out, don't mind me. Ass cannot be paralyzed. They are legit just immune. They basically have free cure paralysis and perma trap vision. They can't be poisoned either. We call that the cast privilege. Busted robots, yeah. You're like, oh, like, hmm, that sure would be a shame if, uh, all you could do was paralyze me. Oh, I love that Rafoe actually hits the entire room, so I can just alternate on them. This is fair, right? Oh. There we go. Time to just annoy the lilies, because what are they going to do to me? I'm immune to their paralysis. Yeah, I leveled. Nice. Yeah, I love the strat of using Rafoe here, so that way you're just constantly damaging them and annoying them. Plus you get to do fun little twirls. Silver badge, I'll pick that up. song is called Shadows of Death over there. I'm sure they do as little as possible to the group. Does EDK help with paralysis? No. It either hits you or it doesn't hit you. There's no in between. It can get interrupted if the thing targeting you dies. Probably what happened. Yeah, I'm also hitting them repeatedly, so they tend to not do it as often. If you see the effect around you, then it's probably because somebody killed it as it targeted you. Yeah, I'm literally just bonking them so they can't really ever shoot their death blast either. So your EDK doesn't really matter as long as I have TP. See, I do vault up so often with casts, I actually don't remember if I get shocked as other characters. Oh, that Crimson Assassin tried so hard. Bonk. <laughs> Speaking of annoying the Lily. 
sure it would be a shame if I had stacked Gopoe in the room and hit it with Gopoe. Assuming I go this way for the class? I'm assuming this is the long lily room. Yeah, it is. Oh, hey, Mill Lily. Look at that, chat. Chad, it sure would be a shame if I just refoleyed this whole room. Get out of here. No turns for you. Well, sadly to say, we did not uh, get the Psycho 1. We saw a Mill Lily today, though. There's that. I got excited there for a second. My my expectations are negative. This, this is just called standard psycho one hunts. You don't get anything for like literally ever. So you can see I'm just shutting them down super hard with Rafoe. Normally if you're playing force by the way, uh, in single player they take lightning damage. So you could do stuff like this and kill them. But I do find Rafoe's not bad. Oh, plastic bait. But I think the run is over. Once you kill the dragon if you want. I don't think there's anything else to the run. Good bar to him though. That can correct me if I'm wrong. Wow, it dropped money for me. I'll take the 4k. I don't think there is anything in the next room. I guess I can look just out of curiosity. I don't remember doing this long walk. Normally we reset. Is it just like Balmers or something in this? Yeah, it's not worth it. Alright, I think that's the run. Ba -ba -ba, drop this. This will teleport back. Let chat take out their anger on the random enemies. Probably should go back for the badge. Uh, this was B. We'll put her out of back this time for real. Okay, I'm gonna go hunt to see where that silver... Oh, now there's two different badges for me to get. The anger is real. Debuff the room, I guess. Not a TP. We bail. <laughs> oh, using a trifluid on a single room. Sorry. No more TP. So, what did we learn today? Well, we tried some quests. Oh no, it's gonna cycle through all those. We tried some quests for Swordsman lore, just to try to help out a little bit. We saw the power of episode 4 experience when we did the boss rush, quote-unquote. And I like that kind You're of on the way. Screwed. We are it pretty has much been screwed. A long time, Lenith. Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? It's mm. gonna take a while. This is getting interesting. So I think from that standpoint, what it'll do is... In the standard play to get Galatine and or Daylight Scar, you might get some in incidental Swordsman lore, which is... I think how I got one of mine. Uh, but I think from the standpoint of the other runs, I think we clear TTF pretty well with low level characters on a mixed gear. So it was nice to uh, kind of breeze through that. But otherwise, chat, nothing really more to add there. So hopefully you had some fun tonight. Uh, but that is the final run of the night. So with that, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube yet again. So. If you did watch this point in the video of the bot, I'd like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the next part.